French has submitted to cheers and applause a proposed 195 nation accord aimed at curbing emissions of the uh, of the heat trapping gases that threaten the Earth's climate system. Now, if approved by envoys, this historic deal will be a breakthrough in uniting the world in a struggle to stop global warming. Malavili Meganathan looks into the final details of the much-anticipated deal that could save the planet. Emotions were running high and Foreign Minister Laurent Fabius was on the brink of tears as he delivered the landmark final draft. For the first time since Industrial Revolution, the agreement aims to limit global warming below the ambitious 2 degrees Celsius. The deal would also mean mobilizing a minimum of $100 billion a year to help the developing world cope with global warming. Most importantly, it would be legally binding. Now speaking exclusively to RTM, chairman of the Center of Environment, Technology and Development Malaysia, Gurmit Singh says, it is vital for the developed countries to stay true to its pledge. The issue of finance is important and I think that's what Malaysia has also made that as one of its conditions that if you want to uh, even meet the targets of 45% reduction below, uh, require some financial assistance and some technology transfer. I think that they'll come up with something that's tangible, better than what we have been having so far. Because this is actually an agreement under the convention and that the final deal will be a fair deal and it will ensure that at least countries that are in uh, uh, capacity to do it will actually start reducing the emissions. Meanwhile, the representative of the Malaysian Youth Delegation to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change, Law Rachel, says it is an imperative accord to ensure the world's future and it is time for countries to step up to the call. The developed countries are reckoned to contribute more and to take more action to curb climate change based on the past economic exploitation of global commons. So this is also referred to as a historical responsibility. So this will definitely put a sense of urgency on the developed countries to commit to financial support and technology transfer. And Malaysia, who has been playing an instrumental role in ensuring a balanced agreement, are making sure that the uh, commitments they are making is enough to safeguard the, a safe climate future. Now, as the final draft awaits historic approval, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon pressed the world's envoys to approve the pact. The end is inside. The world is watching. Malavini Meganathan, reporting for RTM Daily News.